Nah, this thing is still dirty after the wash, bro. I swear, hand washing is like the only way to go. For real, for real. All right, what up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. Uh, I don't know if y'all can tell, but I'm really tired. I, I am in college for y'all that I don't know, so I moved in all of my stuff back in my crib. And I am really tired right now, but I'm still gonna film a video for y'all. You know, gotta get the mods going for the G. Uh, it's been quite a minute since I uploaded a mod video, I think. I don't even know what the last video was, but yeah, man, I'm in the G. You know, got the door cards right there. Don't mind the car bash. It's way too dirty. But trust me when I say this, I got a lot of mods that are waiting to get put on. They're just boxed up. I got to upload in a sequence, so, you know, it takes time. I got a lot of videos planned for the build. But I'm going to show y'all what's going on today. These are coming off soon, so let me know how much y'all think I can sell, like, this set for, the set of stocks. I'm gonna try to get like rust dissolver to get this off. This is like surface rust because my brake pad is in like terrible condition. Well, not my brake pad. It was in terrible condition, but I got the brake pads replaced. But look at that caliper. That's a brand new caliper, bro. Like, how does that even happen? All right, y'all. So we're rolling the fenders today. We're gonna get some more clearance for the wheels I got. It's literally right next to me. I wish I could show y'all. Like the wheels are right here in arm's length. But I can't show y'all yet, man, to the reveal video. But I really want perfect fitment on the G, so I really gotta get rid of that lip that's on the fender. And I was told to get this white lithium grease, which I'm gonna use to lubricate the inside of this, cause apparently it like gets rusted up or whatever. But yeah, I'm gonna use that so it doesn't get stuck and it should be like an easy process. I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what the lip looks like on the fender. Here it is, right here. This is the little lip I got right here. And thankfully, I didn't get the wrap all the way over here, so it's not really affecting the wrap that much. But yeah, we're just gonna be bending this in. I'm sure y'all know like what this is. But we're just gonna be bending this in so it's like flush with this part right here pretty much and then once that's bent in we shouldn't have any rubbing issues i'm not too sure if i'm gonna do the front i think like the front are like already rolled kind of let me see yeah the fronts are like pretty much rolled there's nothing you can really do about that i do have some like fender liner in there but i'm not removing that fender liner so the fronts are just gonna have to do the low key i'm gonna have to move my mom's car out the way so i can have space so let me hop in this real quick a little daily been using this as my daily actually let me give y'all a co-star hold on i'm gonna get the jack out here you know if y'all ain't know the g is gutted and this is the jack i use to jack up my car it's really janky but who cares it'll do the job and this bash bar right here also serves as like a jacking point, so we should be good. I'm gonna also grab these. I really don't want my car rolling away while the car is up on jacks. And I'm gonna probably put these at the front, the front two wheels. There we go. Nice and snug. Make sure you, nice and snug. Oh yeah, she not going nowhere. This jack is like, terrible i'm gonna have to get a new one it won't even jack past this point i don't know if there's like oil or anything i need to put in there but this is the setup right now the jack right here the car is somewhat off the ground and i'm about to lower the car on this jack stand with that bash bar and then i get the wheels off and dang look at the coil it's so dirty but yeah i'm gonna get the wheel off and mount up the fender roller and it should be really easy it doesn't look too hard i watched a couple of videos on how to do it I just got the wheel off and this lug stud is stripped and I literally just replaced these like two months ago, bro. What the heck? And look how bald these tires are, bro. Like I'm on the verge of the wire showing, but these wheels about to get replaced soon, you know? And I hope this being stripped didn't mess up the inside of my lug nut, cause these are brand new too. But I'm about to get the fender roller mounted up and I should probably clean that off. Like what the heck? I got the blaster right here and I almost forgot that I gotta soak the fender roller with this stuff. So it makes it, the job way easier. I'm about to get all the threads nicely lubricated. So this doesn't rust up or whatever. Get seized. Bro, why is it spraying like that? I did not know it sprays like that. That should be good. And just like that, all the threads are nice and lubricated up so they shouldn't seize after multiple uses. 
I'm gonna put this on the car and see how to really mount this for real for real. All right, so this is the problem. It's mounted on here, but the car is too high. So I'm about to adjust the coil overs and make the ride height higher because it's supposed to fit right here. But as you can see, hold on, let me loosen this. Let's loosen. This, is, this roller is supposed to be right here, but yeah, it's behind. My arms are like sore right now from doing that coilover, but I raised the car so this has more clearance and I moved this little piece from here to here. So now I have more clearance and this looks like a decent angle. I'm probably gonna adjust it some more, but the kit actually came with these, which are like conical seatings to put the lug nuts in and mount this in place so it doesn't move. I'm gonna get that in there. I'm putting it in this one. And I'm gonna tighten these down and this fender roller shouldn't move. And then I can get started. Get that in there. Lock that down. Bro, I can't believe my like lug set is stripped, bro. I literally just replaced that. And to be honest, this really does not look too hard. Like, I'll let y'all know afterwards to see if y'all should actually pay someone to do this. But honestly, this looks like something you can really just do at home and buy like a cheap fender roller and just do it yourself instead of spending like hundreds of dollars. I gotta use these so I don't crack this paint even though I don't really care about it but I'm gonna do it anyways to make the job easier this heat gun has never let me down but I'm gonna show you all the setup I kind of got going on right here so I got the heat gun connected to like an outdoor extension cord that's going up into the house and it reaches so now all I gotta do is just heat up the paint and the wrap and we should be good okay so if you ever rolled fenders before this piece right here I had uh, fallen off but this is the progress I made so far like this is what the lip looked like and this is kind of what I got it to hold on as y'all can see like this is what I'm getting molding it to it's like bending in which is what we need I'm gonna keep going and heating it up uh, but yeah if you're gonna do this yourself this is not that hard honestly I don't get uh, why people would pay 200 300 400 dollars to get their fenders rolled you could do it yourself really bro this was mad easy look at this i did this in like probably 10 minutes like instead of the lip being right here it's like bent up like that and i got the top part i just gotta work on this part right here but really like i'm not even joking do not pay anyone to do this for you like you can do this yourself this is so easy and i didn't crack any paint or nothing yeah i'm just gonna work on this part right here I don't know if I really need to do that, but I'm just gonna do it anyways, just to be safe for my tires. This is what I got so far. I think this is as low I'm gonna go. I might stop like right here actually. I'm probably gonna go down to like right here. It's still warm, which is good. And we got this like lip bent in. Y'all y'all know the memo, but I still gotta get this part. So this is what it looks like rolled, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like originally. So y'all can remember and see the difference. This is what it looks like like stock. And whenever we put on the new wheels, the tires should have a lot of clearance and I could lower this thing how I want it and have perfect fitment look at this like this is so trash all right i'm gonna have to adjust this roller part make it shorter so it could fit on there because this part doesn't want to go down and i heated it up and everything or that might really be the max i'm not too sure i'm gonna try and adjust this roller if that doesn't work that might just be the max the tire shouldn't even be hidden over there but i just want it to look better all right let's see yeah nah it doesn't want to go down anymore i think that's the max that's fine i guess i'm just gonna try and clean up this and bend it in more and then this side should be done <laughs> Dude, that thing is like tucked, bro. Holy. I'm gonna get this part some more. And then up here, let me roll it back. I hope I didn't crack any of the paint. I don't know if y'all can tell, but look at how that thing is tucked. Like, it used to be like that. This side is done. It's completely tucked. I couldn't get this part bent, but that's not really gonna matter because it, the tire won't rub right there. But yeah, I'm gonna turn the flash on so y'all can see the inside. Y'all can see, that thing is like completely rolled. 
it looks really good so now all i gotta do is take off this fender roller it actually did me pretty good people were saying like cheap fender rollers weren't gonna do a job but it got the job done y'all can see right there like that thing is in there the wheel is off on this side i got all the tools right here that i need and look at how this fender is we're gonna get this taken care of i should probably be able to do this in under like 10 minutes since i got the hang of it the fender roller is on here but again for this side i can't get like a shallow angle so i'm gonna have to raise the coil over a bit and that's what my coil over looks like i got true heart coil overs for y'all that don't know yeah that was barely any difference i did like 70 rotations on the coil over but yeah i'm gonna just have to work with this and heat it up it shouldn't be too hard i got the heat gun over here let me grab that trusty old heat gun from harbor freight hasn't let me down yet tighten this and go back and forth oh yeah it's already bending let me get a better grip on this let me tighten it some more oh yeah i know y'all see that that bend right there getting a good workout doing this but yeah I spend it a little bit I gotta add more angle this is the part I need to get the most right here I gotta like loosen it right there hold up gotta get it right there and I'm gonna tighten it and start rolling no, why did it come out? All right, yeah, that should be good. Oh, I think I just... I reached a point where the fender roller can't go any lower, so I'm gonna go back up and clean this. Y'all see, like, the difference? I know y'all can see it. I just gotta get it bent in more. It's kinda like right here. I gotta get it like that. And then we should be good. So all I gotta do is really just tighten this, bring it back up. And I'm gonna make the angle more aggressive like that. And we should be good. All this is heated up. I'm gonna just push it down. To see the difference. Oh, I gotta tighten it. Hold up. Tighten that. Yo, my wrap is low-key like peeling but it should be okay. Tighten some more. Oh, that did not sound good. Make sure y'all, I gotta get the, there's like debris back here, I gotta get out. with the wrap this side is pretty much done and now i just gotta do over here but this is not going down hold on y'all take a look at the fender and how it's like tugged now it's pretty much finished not 100 percent like 99 percent. all i gotta do is like do some final touches and push it in a little more but yeah i have the fender roller adjusted you know this thing is actually really good like i probably gonna go right write a good review or something but yeah, look at that. I can't really tell at that angle, I don't think, but look, you can't even see the lip anymore. It used to be like this, now it's like that. But yeah, I'm just gonna get the final touches. And just like that, I'm finished. Where y'all see the lip at? Where y'all see it? Tell me, where y'all see it? Nowhere, that shit is tugged, boy. That shit's gone. I did a good job on this, I ain't gonna lie. Like, that shit is... There's nowhere to be seen. But yeah, I'm just gonna put the tire back on and whenever we get the new wheels on, uh, should have a lot of clearance. Ugh, look at that fitment. That fitment is trash. Jeez, I'm monster trucking right now. Hold on, let me show you on the other side. 
Ugh, look at that fit, man. That fit is ugly. But the fenders roll, bro. That shit is mad good. I swear, bro. Do not pay anyone to do this for you. It is mad easy. The S fitment is horrible, but you won't get it dialed in sooner or later with the new wheels. This how the G sitting right now. Not too bad, you know. She still look good with the green, the wrap. Well, that's it for today's video. The fenders are rolled, so the new wheels should have plenty of clearance when they get put on because they're kind of wide. The rears are like a ten and a half. Uh, so yeah, it looks really good. I'm glad I didn't pay any money to do that other than buying the fender roller, which is like $50. Next mod is definitely gonna be a suspension mod to get the alignment perfect when the wheels get put on. I'm just dishing out content for you guys. I got a lot of stuff planned. I'm trying to tell y'all. So make sure y'all subscribe, like, turn on the post notification bell, and I'll see y'all in the next video.